see, let me tell you how pussy my ops is, right? I just left cutting edge and I'm bruised up, nigga. Cutting edge and did more to me than my ops ever could. <laughs> Ooh, them bitches here hard as hell. Oh yeah, I'm fucked up. Don't go to cutting edge unless you still. Cause I'm a gangster and that shit just fucked over me. I'm telling you, cuz this shit, then it killed me, gang. I done ran through the, we done went first, bro. <clears throat> All right, story time. Yeah, yeah, we starting right now. First thing first, we like 10 deep. We walking this bitch, I'm in the front, cuz I ain't been in like seven years. This I ain't never been this scary in my life. This motherfucking shit scary as hell. I can't even count. I done been in cars, they done put 50 shots in. I done been in houses when the police was hitting this bitch. But this cutting edge shit was scary as hell. This felt like I was in Saw. This felt like Amityville Horror. This felt like The Grudge, Texas Chainsaw Massacre House. This shit scary than a motherfucker, cuz. I'm talking about, I thought I was a scary nigga to people. I'm scared as hell to cut. So look, right? So, boom, check me out. You know what I'm saying? It's me, my little chick, my little sister, my little bro, everybody. We lit. Big bro, his bitch. We lit. We about 10 deep. We walk in this bitch. First thing first. We the first people in this bitch, right? The first in the, in the group. Man, these motherfuckers was jumping out from the gate. Soon as you walk, they got a little, a little bridge that's spinning and shit. You're down there foul. If you're if you drunk or high or something, you're down there a foul. We come through this bitch, nigga. The first thing this motherfucker jump out and grab Lil Yeah is. I said, I thought they couldn't touch you. I done fell. I'm talking about you would have thought I got shot in that bitch. As soon as that nigga jumped out, I just collapsed. I fell on my bitch. Oh! Oh! Oh, my kid. Boom. We make it through the first level. It's 100 degrees in this bitch. I don't know what made me put a hoodie on. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to hide. From goddamn me fans and shit, cause I wanted to just have fun and take pictures. Man, I tripped out. Then, cause we go to the second round. I'm scared by this time. I'm shook the fuck up. So I done put my little bro and, and, and my little pot and my home girl. They got them in the front now. Oh. Oh, shit. When I tell you these folks got them was jumping out, shooting air guns at us, got tasers and shit. I said, all oh, these folks, do, these folks done doubled up to shit. I knew shit changed when I walked in this bitch and they said you got to sign a waiver now. They ain't never had to do that. They said, well, this the number one scariest uh, haunted house in the world, or uh, America, one of them folks. And I see why. We make it to the third level. It's called the pit. And it's full of clowns and shit. And I ain't never been scared of clowns in my life. Because all my ops is clowns and they pussy. But these motherfuckers was on bullshit. It's a nigga like 6'5", fat as hell. I'm thinking he a statue. Why this motherfucker? See me out of all people because a security guard ran through the bitch. Yeah, you was in this bitch. Hey, yeah, you was what you waiting on. Because they tried to split my group up. Uh-uh. We stick together around here, brother. Man, we walking through this bitch. This big motherfucker seen me and was coming. I was screaming like a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> but this the funniest part of everything. The second funniest part. My little brother Red, bro. This nigga called gangster. This nigga off the bus was telling me, hey, bro, I ain't going to no cut. I ain't going to no cutting edge, little bro. Big bro. I ain't going to no cutting edge. It's over with. I'm like, cuz, you gotta go. It ain't that scary. Man, we got in this motherfucker. My little nigga ran past me. He trying to get up out this bitch. That big ass motherfucker clown came back. I looked up. He was running back this way, running behind me. I said, oh, my shooter scared. We dead in this bitch. It's over with. We lost. But this would take the cake. Here, baby. This would take the cake, cuz. 
So you know at the end, it's two doors you can go out of. You can go to the regular door. You used to be amazed. And you go through the phone pit. So you know, I always go through the phone pit. Fuck, we're gonna go through the phone. But now the shit done changed. Like they got signs that's like no cell phones out. If you got asthma or heart conditions, do not go through the phone type shit. And I'm reading this shit, but I'm like, I ain't think about this. I've been to the phone. It should be like at your waist type shit. I don't know why I thought that. I ain't been to this bitch in 10 years. I don't know shit. I don't know nothing about this motherfucker. I'm thinking of the old age. Boy, I was 21 when I went in this bitch. Nigga, I'm 28. These motherfuckers, my little brother Jay Sean, like, I ain't going to that shit. I said, nah, bitch, we can't. We got to stick together. Man, I ran through that phone. It was like a little hole. I was trying to sneak through the hole. By the time I kept going, that shit was to the top. I took one deep breath and was all soap and shit in my mouth and eyes. I was dying. No bullshit. Nigga, I done breathed in all so much soap. Then it's a maze inside this motherfucker. You ain't just walking straight. So I done ran straight. So I done started panicking this bitch. Oh, God, I'm panicking so bad because I can't breathe. I can't see. I'm panicking. I done ran full speed into a wall. Boom. I ain't giving that. I went to rolling on the wall. I don't crib. I went to rolling on the wall. Let me out this motherfucker. When I seen that motherfucking sunlight and the lights and the police and everything, I was happy as hell. I said, oh, I can't breathe. And that was about an hour and a half ago. I just got the shower. My eyes is still burning. I got so much soap in my eyes and, and my lungs and nose. Every time I cough, my eyes start watering. And I start goddamn me dying in this bitch. So long story short. If you ain't been to Cutting Edge, I advise you don't go. I don't believe that. I'm talking about man. my life a scary movie. I don't play Grand Theft Auto because my life Grand Theft Auto. I don't play Call of Duty because I live Call of Duty. I've been in a horror movie and living in Fort Worth. It's like a walking horror film. But that Cutting Edge, I see why it's in the murder. Because that motherfucker scary as hell. I never go back to that shit. Wish I had two more thumbs. Why, yeah, yo? Why do you want two more thumbs? So I can get them bitches. Four thumbs down. I never go back to that shit. That shit scary as a motherfucker. I never. You you invite me to cut an edge, I might slap the shit at you. Me, me. You send me another cutting edge ticket, bitch, I'm going to kick your ass. I ain't never going back to this shit. All my hoes. It's over with. Fight fancy we call. Yeah. I was really oh, hit me. Oh, I, I was. was <laughs> oh, you dry, grab me. Yeah, yeah, oh, my God. God. You need to wipe my face. You better make it. Hey. If your hoe always coming back singing new rap songs and shit, slap the shit out that hoe. She been with a nigga.